Hello, welcome to the Craft Ice Magic Setter Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to be grafting the stitches on my antler cardigan from under the arm. So this is the sleeve part and I've got stitches that were left on scrap yarn from the arm and from the main body of the cardigan. I'm going to graft these together but there's quite a space on either side of here so I'm going to show you how I'm going to be picking up stitches. So first of all I'm going to engage the needle that's on the stitches um, on the main body of the cardigan. So again this is the sleeve and this is the main body. Um, and I'm going to start knitting with a new piece of yarn. You can actually see that actually I've got an end here that I finished knitting with when I was knitting the arm part. Um, but I'm going to start knitting here. So I'm going to work across these 10 stitches first. So I've just knitted across those stitches there. Um, again, this is the main body of the cardigan and this is the sleeve bit. Well, I've got these bits at the sides that if I don't pick up stitches um, in, I think I'll end up with a bit of gaps. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to pick those stitches up. So I've got two pieces of yarn here that I think would be appropriate to pick up stitches in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist these um, as I'm picking up a stitch inside it so that you don't end up with gaping holes. So I'm first I'm going to lift up that first piece of yarn but I'm going to pick up a stitch but I'm going to knit through the back loop of it so that it twists it. Still looks a bit loose now. Then if I pick up that second bit of yarn which is there and knit through the back loop that's closing up already. So now that I've picked up two stitches this side, I'm going to turn my work around and pick up two stitches that side. So I've now turned the work around. These are the two stitches I've just picked up and knitted. And I'm going to do the same this side here. There's two loops here, so I'm going to be picking up stitches and twisting as I did before. So I'm going to be picking up in this loop and then knit through the back loop to make sure that's twisted keeping my work nice and tight so I'm now going to pick up a stitch here in that second space and knit through the back loop and knit across the work so I've created two stitches on this needle and two stitches on that needle so when we come to Kitchener I'll have the same amount of stitches on each needle. Now I'm going to work over to this side and do exactly the same. So now I've worked over to the other side and I can see again those two loops. Those two loops, I'm going to put my needle in the first one, pick up a stitch with the back loop to twist it a little bit, um, go into the second loop, knit into the back loop to pick up a stitch and that's closed those two and I've got two more stitches to pick up this side so I'm going to turn my work around so these two are the ones I've just picked up I've turned the work around and I've got two spaces on this side um, to pick up as well here and here you'll see that there's the end of the yarn which I started with so I need to tuck that inside out of the way so I'm going to lift lift that first yarn and knit through the back loop to make it nice and tight and then with that second loop do the same again and just by knitting in the back loop I'm tightening everything up I've decided to then knit right to the end of this needle and then get ready for my Kitchener stitch So I'm now to the end of the row and I can now start to kitchener those together. So I've got an equal number of stitches on the back of the front needle. I'm going to cut this so I've got about half a metre I'd say. Um, so it's plenty enough to kitchen it and I'll show you how I'm going to kitchener it. So we have an equal number of stitches on both of these needles. I have the sleeve actually on the bottom this time and the main body of the cardigan on the top. 
um, but we've basically just picked up two stitches on each side on the top and the bottom and kept those on the appropriate needle so that we've got an equal number of stitches on both sides so we can kitchen them kitchen of them together so I'm going to push my stitches to the end of the needle I'm going to start doing my kitchener so on the front needle I'm going to put it knit wise and push that first stitch off and then purl wise into the second and then purl wise on the back drop that stitch and knit wise into the second so I'm going to continue with the same action on the front knit wise for the first stitch purl wise for the second Purl wise through the first stitch, drop the stitch off, knit wise through the second. So I'm going to work kitchener stitch across all these stitches until I've worked them all. I've now got one stitch on each of the needles, and I'm just going to go knit wise through the front, purl wise through the back and drop those stitches off the needle so we're nearly there so I'm going to be um, putting the needle through the back of the work and then just sewing those ends in so I'm now going to thread that needle through the back of the work here like that and I'm actually going to do some duplicate stitches on the back of this work just to strengthen um, those edges of where we've kitchened it together so this is my end pulled through the back of the work I'm going to just make some duplicate stitches to just pull in some of these um, just loose stitches a little bit just to make it look a bit neater so I'm going to follow this stitch round here um, and then work my way over to the other side where there's some loose stitches so this one's loose here so I'm just going to tuck the needle into this bit as well so that I can grab hold of this stitch and make it a little bit um, tighter so I'm going to kind of go a little bit out of sync with the stitches that are actually there but still making that action of the sort of knit stitch to close those holes up if that makes sense so then that comes out nice and neat and it'll show nicely on the other side this is uh, one of the ends that we also need to sew in but that makes it nice and neat I'll show you the, how the other side looks as well so you can see how that's pulled in some of those loose stitches doing the duplicate stitch um, so I'm going to carry on and make sure I've sewn the rest of the ends in as well so this is a standard duplicate stitch to sew the ends in I'm following this stitch in a way that it makes a nice stretchy material so it's not too tight if you can see how that's gone around there then I'll go to the next stitch So you can see how it's looping in and around like that all the way across and you need to do it at least three or four stitches when you're sewing ends in um, but when you're reinforcing areas like I am under the armpit um, I sometimes do a few more that's how it looks you can hardly see it 
makes an invisible sewing. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!